All right, y'all. How you going? Welcome back to the channel. We are looking at an interesting video today, kind of a vlog, uh, I believe. This was suggested to me very recently um, on Discord by Firebrand. And this is traveling to the most remote town in Australia. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of towns you could think of that are pretty remote. Australia is big, and there are very many parts of that huge landmass that are, uh, you know, pretty empty, right? Uh, not everywhere is like Sydney. <laughs> I always think of a lot of remote places I've been in, like the western U.S., and there are some pretty remote places out there, uh, but nothing like what you'd find in Australia. That's what I've gathered and what people, you know, have taught me and stuff. It, it's very interesting. So we'll have to see where this is. This comes to us from a channel called Kara and Nate. I believe I've seen a couple of their videos uh, in the past. Uh, so I think they travel quite a lot. So Sounds pretty fun. This will be linked in the description down below so you can watch this whole thing uninterrupted and definitely browse their channel as this is a very, very long video as we will just be watching uh, bits and pieces of it, okay, in this video. And uh, yeah, use that link down there and watch the whole thing later. Let's take a look. I, I'm kind of excited to see this. All right, we got it pulled up. Let's see what the most remote town in Australia is like. I'm imagining it's going to be pretty beautiful, though. We're traveling to the most remote town in all of Australia. Okay, Kiwikura, or Kiwikura, and it is over here in Western Australia, way in, way inland, of course. I figured it might have been in the Northern Territory, but no, it's way over here in huge WA, right? This is going to be fun, I think. Australia, if you overlay a map of Australia on top of the U.S., it's almost the exact yes. same size. Yet the population of Australia is almost 10 times smaller, making the most remote town in Australia, well, Pretty remote. Feels like <laughs> right. the most remote town in the world. We're gonna be taking the next three <laughs> days to drive to be. Kiwikura. Yeah, they know the high five. <laughs> and hopefully when we get there, we'll meet some locals to learn what it's like to live deep, deep in the outback. I feel like I'm on safari. We have no Dude, camels. Oh my god, that's so cool. No clue what to expect from this journey. Are we lost in the outback? But we've rented a That would be scary. <laughs> <laughs> Outback we've talked about before. I could tell just from videos, looking at Google Earth, looking at maps, hearing stories from you guys. The Outback is one of those things that's immense beauty. It's it's wild. It's dangerous. It's something that you have to respect, right? It is a crazy place. It's a famous place, uh, but it is not for the faint of heart. The Outback is serious business, right? Four by four with a rooftop tent, and we're on our way. That's cool. You can rent that. Look at that rig. That is cool. Oh my god! And you guys know I love Aussie vehicles, especially Aussie trucks or Utes like this. That thing is cool, dude. Wonder if it's a oh, was it a Nissan Navara or a Toyota Hilux? Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, so they're in Alice Springs right now, which is pretty remote, right? And that's, of course, Northern Territory. All right. Yes, we're actually doing this. <laughs> oh, yikes. Left side of the road, left side of the road, left side of the road. Mate. I think it's a Hilux. Oh, that's the windshield wipers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and for reference, uh, I believe these, uh, this couple, I believe they're Americans. Uh, so I, uh, yeah, so obviously this is going to be f pretty interesting for them <laughs> driving a right hand drive uh, truck that we don't get here in the States, you know, it's just that's going to be different alone, not to mention uh, right hand drive plus driving on the other side of the road and they're going to be an outback. So road rules might not be, you know, exactly come into play like they would in a busy city, uh, you know, so to say, but it's going to be interesting. Okay, that's not too bad. Three hours from Sydney all the way to Alice Springs, and then they're, if they're going to go over here, <laughs> they might not be able to fly, right? They're probably going to have to drive the whole way, which I think is what we saw in the beginning. Like, they must have got that truck there, and then, yeah, I had to drive it's over. Pretty much the Sorry, I'm clicking this all in my head. Of Australia. And that's where we picked up our home for the next seven days. Yes. Yes. Gotcha. Happy. Our first stop was a not-so-quick trip to the grocery store to buy everything oh geez they, they stocked Just up a girl and her 500 hey, worth of groceries they went to woolies <laughs> oh my god they have to drive okay see this is what's crazy about australia that a lot of people don't remember or don't know so what a lot of australians always try and tell people 
visiting like, hey, this is bigger than you think. Look at this on the map. On the map, this doesn't look like that long. It looks like a, a long hike for sure. But it, it's not like they're driving from, you know, here to way over here. They're just driving from here to here, right over the, the state line into Western Australia, right? It doesn't look like that far. But it is. It's 822 kilometers or 13 hours of driving and of very remote driving. Hour and two Dang. minute drive to Australia's most remote town. And I guarantee you it's gonna take us double that. Like we yeah, thought we were gonna start longer. lunch today and the sun's setting and now we're just hitting the road. What oh, that sign they're just hitting the road at sunset? Morning. Yikes. Last fuel. To Ooh, last fuel for 270 kilometers? Oh my God, no, no fuel at Rabbit Flat. Next fuel is Yundumo Halls Creek, Western Australia, 742. Oh my God, what in the hell? That's crazy. 168 miles for Americans like me. 170 kilometers. We are in the outback. <laughs> Those are the signs I wanted to see out here. We do have a full tank. We have 140 gallons of water. We have enough food to last us for the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Even if we break down out here and nobody comes that. to rescue us for the next month, I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. I think we're gonna make it as long as we don't step on a snake. The biggest thing to look out for is probably snakes as well, so make sure that you've got some decent boots and things like that on. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I would not want to be in the outback in sandals. Hell no. Just gotta get my boots on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to buy boots. Because I'm definitely not wearing my cute tennis shoes to get ruined in this winter. We have been driving look at for that. 30 oh minutes. Oh, my God. And it's our look at this. So this is Northern Territory then. Wow, that is pretty. Look at that. Got some mountains over here. Got the sunset over that just infinite horizon. Wow. And that is like, damn, that is desert, right? <laughs> I Remember, I love desert. I think I think desert scenery is awesome. Some people hate deserts. I love it. I think it's beautiful, dude. Already gone from a two-lane road sunny and to hot and a one-lane road that's just slowly being taken over by red dirt. This feels like a real adventure. And why are there broken down cars everywhere? This car is Yikes. driving straight at us. Really fast. Right, Nate, I'm, you're running off the road yeah, really yeah, quickly. Yeah, we're, we're close. Oh my All God, right, he's good. scared, which I don't blame him. Do this all the time. This is the wild west. I feel like there are no <laughs> rules, no speed limit. There actually might be rules. Look at that. Wow, that sunset. Yeah, that's not the wild west. That's the outback. <laughs> we just don't know them. It's like the wild west on steroids, man, for just vastness. So they already are. Oh my. Oh my God, they're already camping then for the night. I imagine that night sky is next level like literally unbeatable i've seen i i've seen some gorgeous night skies out in the desert in the southwest u.s that were pretty amazing compared to like a lot of city centers i've always been around but this would just be ultimate oh my god oh my god these are the best stars i've yeah, ever seen i bet oh i'm jealous <laughs> this is awesome. that's probably exactly what it looks like just with your eyes wow yo that is like, I know that's probably a little enhanced, but legit, in real life, I'm sure that is just an unbeatable view. Nice. All right. Ooh, it got windy. I mean, that's the thing about the desert. It can get really windy. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. These trucks are so cool. Sorry, these utes. These utes are so badass, man. I've seen these in off-roading videos in Australia. Look at how these are kitted out, man. First of all, that pull-out table has the map of Australia. How cool is that? Look at that. Oh, my God. That's so cool. I want that freaking ute, dude. That thing is nice. We bought some really nice beans in Sydney a couple days ago, and I'm so excited about this. I bet that coffee's bomb. Looks like a crisp, kind of chilly, windy desert morning. That sounds about right. Oh, cool. I think sounds like a diesel, yeah? Did you just hit your face? Yeah. Huh. Any cars coming on your side? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that so much. Yeah, any cars coming? No, you're clear. 
It's probably no cars for like 400 miles. <laughs> it's just crazy how remote we already are. Like just Woo. sitting there eating breakfast, I would just watch a car pass once every 30 minutes. I Damn. can only imagine Look how at that remote landscape. this town is going to be after another 11 hours of driving. Right. I don't know why I'm putting on makeup to sit in the car the rest of the day, but... <laughs> oh, here we go. Leaving the pavement. Look at Our that. First dirt road. That's when it starts might be hitting. the last time we see pavement for the next five days. That's when it hits different. When you start seeing reduced speeds, <laughs> you see signs for camels, which I have over here on this. It's like Australian roadsides on this um, this uh, towel I have hanging in here. And, oh, my God, that's when you know you're really an outback, I imagine, when you leave the pavement and you see that red dirt and uh yeah nothing be but red dirt and your tires and a long way to go <laughs> oh my gosh that's crazy our first camel sign reduce speed for camels come on so camel what's the, what's the realistic speed limit on a road that, like that? is the sixth broken down car on the side of the road that kind of looks like it was on fire is this like a thing in the outback? Oh my like God. if your car breaks down, it's just too expensive to tow it anywhere, so you just leave it? We're gonna keep count. I hope that is not how we end up. Damn. That is the first car that we've passed since. Ooh, look at that Mac. Look at that landscape. I always say this, the contrast between that unbelievable Australian blue sky and the little bit of green brush and then the bright orange red uh, soil, right? Oh my God, it's so cool, dude! And you see that you see that red um, powdered onto the vehicles too. It is just so cool, man! It's so Aussie, and uh, it is just it's wild to me. It's a very iconic landscape. It's getting all this dirt road. So I've done some research on the animals that we could potentially see, and I've come up Kangaroos. with an outback pick for. Camels. So these are the four animals that we're hoping to see before we leave the outback. Obviously a camel. Kangaroo. Obviously. Emu. Oh, and emus. Dingoes. What? And dingoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. I I think 11 hours. I think they might see uh, at least one of each, right? Can we make our own turn? Uh oh show. Oh, no. What road we would have turned off on. Are they even getting the any? There's no way they're getting south signal, right? I literally cannot think of the last time. Dude, I go to, I literally go half an hour from home. If I go to rural Wisconsin or Iowa, there's no cell signal. And those are populated states <laughs> compared to the outback. Oh my God. That's got to be scary. They got to go to a paper map. Ooh, how freaky, man. I used a paper map. <laughs> We're in the Northern Territory. Oh, jeez. Are we lost in the outback? That's so freaky. Great, I guess we keep going. That is like so scary to be lost in the outback. <laughs> I'm not overreacting. People die out here. Oh my yeah. goodness. What was that Wild number? Stuck. What is yeah, not, it's not to be negative. It's to be bring awareness and be realistic. Like, dude, you know, be careful traveling. Traveling is like one of the best things. Road trips are one of the coolest experiences. But traveling anywhere, especially big countries, like traveling in the U.S., you got to be careful, right? There are remote places. But uh, this is next level for traveling in Australia. You know, yeah, be careful because the outback, it you know, people die in outback. It's crazy, man. It is very remote and, and dangerous. Like it's hot and just remote, and you gotta be careful, man. Overreacting, people die out here. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Anywhere remote, you just gotta be careful. What is it doing? Hey guys! <laughs> Get out of the road! You're not part of the big four, but we're happy to see you. Our <laughs> first wildlife. 10 and it has bullet holes in it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't worry, truck. We got this. We'll pull over. You just keep on trucking. Ooh, an Outback trucker alert. I can't. It's a cab over, yeah? Ooh, I can't tell. Maybe it's in a Suzu? I don't know. Cool uh, cab over, though. It's like a smaller truck, yeah? Can't see anything. OMG, we're they, about they to leave pass a pretty big car dust trail. Within two minutes. Traffic can, basically. <laughs> Traffic I actually do think yeah. driving out here is pretty dangerous. Not only because of the remoteness, but you just get lulled into this false sense of security. Mm -hmm. Where you're like, oh, I don't really have to pay attention. There's no cars around. And then about once an hour, there's a car. Or a gigantic 18-wheeler that does not care to move over for you. Or yeah. Camel. No camels, Jen, though. Hi, hi. How you going? Dan! Hello. 
11. I think you skipped one. <laughs> 12. 13. Okay. Dude, there's so many cars abandoned. Oh my god. What the hell? Look at all this. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa, okay. You really got to get your wits about you reading this. Okay. Mommy. We're going the right way. Wow. This is like how our parents used to travel. What a relief, though. <laughs> you had to use a paper map and then double check with road signs that you were going the right way. That's funny. Tara and Matthew. Matthew yeah. Ooh. Nice. Tara and Matthew. Tara and Matthew. Yes. Where should we go? We go this way. Okay. I'll just show you where to go. Yeah, right. There's a car. There's a car. There's a car. Thank you. Thank you. We're in town now, <laughs> There's a car. Watch out. This one, yeah. They still this exist out there, there, right? You can't, like you said, you can't drive all lackadaisical because that would be the time you'd get in a crash when there's like two cars an hour. <laughs> if there's a um, crowbar around. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we met someone who watches our videos while Whoa. we were getting gas. No way. And Tara is her... Cousin. And Tara and Matthew are married, and they live in this community, and they ask if we wanted to go witchetty grub hunting. You really can't make this stuff <laughs> up. They didn't have one. No way. No, nothing. Where should we go? To my cousin's place. This way? Yeah, north side. Okay. Well, you said north, like I should know which way north is. <laughs> Hello. Just here? Here, we'll just put this up here. Move the woolies. So I go straight, yep. Okay. Wow. Now we're really going into the outback. <laughs> Right. Let the grub hunt commence. This is the tree that where we get makuhula. This is the tree that we get maku from. Wichiri grub. What are you wow. looking for? Once they try to pop, they leave this yellow bit open and sticking out from the ground. Oh, and how it cool. tells us whether the um, wichiri grub's inside or popped out. Oh, got you. Oh wow, how so cool. This is where they lay, but this one is empty. Wow. This one popped out as well. I mean, I'm for sure going to eat it after watching how hard it is to actually catch one. That was questionable yeah, before. Yeah, labor intensive. I think it would be very rude to turn it down after all this work. It turns out our hunt for widgety grubs was unsuccessful. Oh, but man. after Googling a quick photo, I can't say I'm too disappointed. Especially because Nate's already made me eat grubs both in the Amazon and Indonesia. So after trying a few local plants. Oh wow, it tastes like a gigantic honeysuckle. We said goodbye to our new wow. friends and got back on the road. That's crazy. <laughs> but they, they, uh, they couldn't find the widgety grubs. Nine hours left to uh, Kibakura, look at that. Again, beautiful landscape. Oh my god, that's so epic. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a long Dude, ride. Dude, feel how, how rough some of those roads are? When we were oh in town, god. we got a little service. So we put Kibakura in our maps. And this is the road that Google chose for us. Wow. Yes, Google Maps. Oh boy. Dude, Daniela and I have some stories. <laughs> Do we have some stories about. Let's choose the roughest, most deserted desert road that's not paved and super sketchy and unmaintained. And uh, yes, Google, let's go that way for the next 60 miles. There's a highway right there. <laughs> yeah, always triple check and don't just fully trust uh, Google Maps. <laughs> Speaking from experience. 43 kilometers experience. on this road. Oh my gosh. We spotted our first camel. Oh, it was in the middle of the road. It was another car that was on fire. Oh Dude, my. look at that. What? I just still can't get over how cool that is. That's something I never knew before, like this channel, before learning from you guys so much. I never knew that there was camels chilling in the outback. Gosh. No, stay. It's huge. Please wow. stay. Look at that. How cool. I can't believe I'm seeing a wild camel. Where'd it go? It just disappeared wow. so fast. I love that friggin' Hilux. Down to the steelies, well. the diesel. <laughs> Thing is cool. We're here. As expected, the town feels very small. There it is. Oh my god, that is that is it? Oh, that's so small. The most remote town. Oh my goodness. 
how I've said this before, it is amazing how many different ways there are to live on this earth, man. There's so many towns and communities and cities and uh, places. It's just unreal, right? Wow. That is crazy. We have not seen a single person yet. The most remote town in Australia. Great video for comments. Has anyone been here? I would love to hear from you in the comments. Has anyone been here? That would be incredible if someone's been there. Feels like the most remote town in the world. Well, what do you say we get some gas and then hope that we meet someone <laughs> like last time? <laughs> Look at that, there's the gas. <laughs> the gasoline, the petrol. Proof that Google was right. Kiwakura, Australia's most remote Aboriginal community. So every one of these towns that we've passed through as we've left Alice Springs has had a single gas pump. Wow. So gas in the most remote town in Australia is $2.95 a liter. Wow. So glad we came. $7.20 a gallon in the US. I'm kidding. I think. It's been amazing. Wow. It's about over double what it is for me here in Illinois. And Illinois is high. Our neighboring states have it lower. Wow. Oh, cell phone service. Look at that. Oh, it's my sister. That wow. That court is cool. <laughs> it's hard on. to believe that a Google search from two months ago has led me to standing here. So this is the door of the roadhouse. Looks like you can get a gig of internet for $15. But what's more interesting is, this sign says, cat hunting in Kiyokura. $100 payment for each cat. Keep the tail tip and guts and give to Kate. Or freeze and keep until she's there next week. Who's Kate? I don't see any hours on the store. I was hoping maybe if we hung out for a little while, it might open. We got nothing but time. So this truck behind me is apparently the biggest tourist attraction in town. I read the sign and honestly, it was so Australian that I couldn't understand it. <laughs> oh man, I gotta read that. Then. Look at that. Oh it's my attraction God. Attraction in town? I read the Oh God, here we go. <sighs> the ration truck story. Hot water laid on. In 1960, the Gun Barrel Road Construction Party were working westward. Oh, part of it's um, out of focus. Dang it. The whole right side is going to be hard to read. When the ah, uh, see, I have to. I don't know. Who, I don't know what it says. Uh, back over here, when the greater gearbox blew up, the longest towing operation returned to Giles something something. It's blurred out, or it's out of focus rather. Okay, and then it goes on. Quinny stopped my rover and blowed and bellowed. This is absolutely terrible. The great caravan. I think it says something polling had disappeared. Suddenly we observed a black cloud of smoke and something plume of dust from a vehicle coming towards us. We thought here comes Scotty again, blurred out caravan was lying dormant back up the road. However, Scotty yelled from somewhere in the miniature dust storm, the rate, the ration trucks gorn. <laughs> The black smoke was coming from the harmless truck full of food supplies. We drove back to the exploding, oh, I can't read it, something sauce. The big tires were spouting globules of molten rubber and tin of something. <laughs> Doug and Rex could only save one of the wheels. Now I'm getting a little lost for sure. The 1400-something cabin was boiling, so I shot a hole through the tank side, and with that made a cup of tea. What the hell? Lean Beetle Outback Highways. Anyone want to translate? Anyone want to translate? Let me know. <laughs> Sign, and honestly, it was so Australian that I couldn't understand it. The first of many new friends we were about to make today. Meet Brendan. I've been, yeah, working in Kiwakura for, yeah, about three and a bit years, um, doing some NDIS. Wow disability support work. So we're standing here at the airport. Can oh, they do? They do have an airport. Anyone just fly out here? It's mainly for service providers yeah. and uh, um, locals, but we do have other flights that come in. Can you order Amazon packages? <laughs> I have been known to order some 
Amazon packages. Um, they take a while to come, but um, are you for wow. real? Yeah, like that's actually a thing that can happen. You don't you don't get Amazon Prime, unfortunately. You don't, you're not getting <laughs> next day shipping. It's a, it's about a month wow. to get anything. But, wow, um, it comes. And he introduced us to Ray James, who is one of the village elders. Brown. Nice to meet you, Ray James. You've lived here your whole life. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Damn. It's my community. Your community is here. Yeah, I live here. Long time, many years. Do you like living here? <laughs> what happens if there's a medical emergency out here? Uh, oh, the royal. So we've got a clinic in Kirikura, which has got a permanent nurse, and then there's a doctor that comes out. You know. I was gonna say they have doctors that fly out, right? Often, but if yeah, if, if there's an emergency, there's the royal flying doctors. I was gonna say I should have said it. The royal, you guys know, I know that. The royal flying doctor. That's cool. Yes. How many kids go to school here? That's super fascinating, by the way. I have videos on that. And how many grandchildren? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> nine grandchildren? Yeah. I love how you had to count that. <laughs> yeah, that one, yeah. So I, got a big ma I got a big mother. <laughs> <laughs> high five? Yeah, they know the high five. <laughs> 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 How do you get food out here? So, I guess the shop's serviced by a truck which comes out from Alice Springs, um, which comes usually about every two weeks. If the road's not in good shape, can mean that the truck doesn't come, um, wow. you know, sometimes up to a month or so. Nice oh, to meet you, Ray. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you. Rapping with the Land Cruiser. Hell yeah. Then, Very just cool. as we were about to leave town, we met Ed, who is an absolute legend. I've worked here for about almost three years. By the way, notice on everyone, the Outback flies. <laughs> That's a real thing. You guys have told me millions of times. You were kidding. <laughs> now, but I came here because I care about the environment. And um, in Australia, the best people to look after the environment are the people who, you know, have lived here for 60 plus thousand years. Um, yeah. And so I just thought, you know, I'd love to experience that with them and see how they look after country the right way. I wow. do enjoy living out here. You just feel connected as a person of European descent in wow. Australia. It's the most connected I've ever felt to the country because of the people and because of the kindness they've shown me and connecting me to country. So um, that's probably my favorite part. There's a sign over there talking about rewarding people for killing cats. Yeah, well... Can you explain that? Yeah, well, cats are a massive problem in Australia. There are millions and millions of feral cats. Each cat wow. kills about five animals per day. So you add that up, and oh, that's... It's, cats have been one of the main drivers what? of the extinction crisis in Australia. Australia is one of the worst extinction rates in the, in the world, and it's because of cats. And Kirikara people traditionally hunted cats through tracking. And, wow. Um, so we just thought, let's reward that. It's really important work make sure they're doing it, and it's worked really well. Cool. There are heaps of threatened species populations around Kirikara where people are regularly hunting cats. Thank you for that Well, insight. that was really, really fun. Uh, we only looked at bits and pieces of that, so make sure to use that link down there. Check out their whole video, uh, Uninterrupted, of course, browser channel. And, dude, this is just so interesting. Australia is beautiful, and uh, it comes in so many shapes and sizes, right, when we're talking about this versus melbourne versus perth right versus uh you know the coast versus you name it. it it's just uh it is an amazing place uh we know that by now uh but seeing this kind of up close and personal very very interesting very cool fascinating and uh thank you for that suggestion that was really cool and like i said make sure and check out their video with that link down there uh look at the end too there's um a piece because i'm gonna watch this whole video um you know in one whole swoop in my off time and there's a p uh there's a cool piece about meeting famous artists uh, famous first nations artists uh from i believe this town so that's really really cool um and something i definitely want to look at so yeah uh really really awesome guys i hope you enjoyed that one and like i said if anyone's been here or knows about it you know i would love to hear in the comments uh, I cannot wait to see you down there and keep up the great suggestions and uh, Australia, you're just awesome. And that has just got to be a, a fascinating experience that honestly, you really can't replicate anywhere in the world, right? There's quite nothing like the thought of driving, waking up at sunrise and hitting the road in the outback. I mean, name anywhere that's exactly like that. 
there's nowhere, right? So I hope you enjoyed that. Please throw a like on there if you did. Subscribe to be part of this amazing community we do have on this channel. Hope to see you next time, guys. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. And until next time, I'll catch you later.